Hey, it's Mike from Friction Jewelry in San Diego. Today I'm gonna do a really quick review of the Amazon Welder. I didn't find a lot of information on this unit when I was shopping around for this equipment. Very few Amazon reviews, a couple YouTube videos, but nothing really super helpful, especially when I was trying to compare it to the more expensive Orion Impulse. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to tell you what I like, to tell you what I don't like, and maybe answer for you if you should pull the trigger. All right, here we go. Before we get started, I thought it'd be cool to show you a really quick clip of the Amazon Welder in action. This is at two, three on the Amazon Welder. That's it. Okay, here we go. Things that I really like about the Amazon Pulse Arc welder, number one is the price. At $500 full retail, it's pretty amazing when you compare it to 22 to 2400 for the Orion. Um, I got mine on Amazon Warehouse for $300 and I've seen them even as cheap as $200 on Craigslist, on eBay, on OfferUp. So this thing can be had very, very cheap. That is a monster plus. Uh, the second thing I like about this uh, welder is how sturdy it is. It is a solid metal box. It's a little on the big side. I'd say it's about the size of a shoe box or so if you've never seen one before. Um, it is rock solid. I've taken this thing in crates. I don't really have to worry about pouting it. Uh, I don't worry about it. The Orion on the other hand, I've got to baby that thing a little bit more. Um, I bought a special case for it and I'm definitely a little bit more careful with it. The third thing I really like about this, the stylus holder. It's super simple. It's super low tech. It's ultra helpful. The Orion stylus holder is um, connected to the auto darkening lens, which I don't use. So it's just an extra piece of equipment if I want to take it around. I actually use this for both welders. Um, what I did here is I put a little piece of Velcro on the bottom on each welder, I have a piece of Velcro so that I can just stick it there so that when I'm working uh, on the road, I just set the stylus on top of the machine. It's super handy. Um, the third thing I like about this machine, excuse me, the fourth thing, and lastly, is the grounding clips. I love that there are two. One, two, so that I can ground both my pliers and I can have a little alligator clip, or this is actually the precision clip, which works really, really well for tiny jump rings. Um, I can do more videos on that in the future. I'm not a YouTuber, but I'll tell you what I can. Uh, so that's what I like about it. Price, sturdiness, stylus holder, and the grounding clips. Things that I don't like about it. Number one, the stylus cable, it's shorter and it's more rigid than the Orion welder. It's harder to use. You'll, you'll, you'll come across when you're out in the field on certain situations where the flexibility and length of the Orion unit are much more user-friendly. Um, the second thing, and this could be a deal breaker for a lot of you is the power sensitivity of the, um, Amazon welder is not what the Orion is in two ways. One, this thing will, cannot go as low power as the Orion. In my experience, I'd say the, 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 the lowest setting on this, which is, uh, 1% power and three millisecond. So one, three, I call it, I'd say that's equal to about five or six watt seconds on the, uh, Orion welder. And then when you jump up to 2% power, it's almost like jumping four or five watt seconds on the Orion. It's a big difference. Um, so if you want to do really fine chain, thinner than 24 uh, gauge jump rings, uh, this unit's going to be difficult. I'm not saying it's impossible. You could play with the electro shape and you might have more luck than I did, but that was something to consider and it's ultimately why I ended up buying a second machine. I really wanted to take my business to the absolute highest level and try to do the most intricate welds that I possibly could. So no regrets there. However, I'll say it again, for the money and for the amount of application that you can get out of this welder, which is 90% of permanent jewelry, it works great. The third thing I don't like about the Amazon welder is there's no support. So you know, good luck if something breaks. Um, whereas Orion, I had an issue with the Argon valve um, not opening on my Orion welder. They sent me a new one the next day. Incredible. Uh, but again, I keep going back to price. For the value, does that matter? Um, you know, if I got this thing for $300 on Amazon Warehouse, if it breaks, 
I'll buy another one. Um, yeah, so that's what I like. That's what I didn't like. Now, who's it for? The Amazon welder, without a doubt, if you're just starting out and you need to buy chains and you need to buy tools, and if you're doing a market, a farmer's market, a pop-up, a craft fair, you've got a lot of other expenses. So to get running, 100%, this machine is for you. Look no further, buy it, pull the trigger. On the other hand, if you already have an existing business, as I did, um, you may want to not even, you may want to skip this step, right? You, you know you have customers, you know permanent jewelry is hot, it's gonna be hot for, I'd say, at least another year. Um, you know, you might just want to say, you know what, I have the cash, I'm just gonna go for it. Um, especially if you can use the welder in other areas of a business, as I do, I make a lot on Etsy. Uh, so I'm not just using it for permanent jewelry, I can use it in other ways. And that's really sort of been a bit of a game changer. Um, yeah. That's it. I uh, hope you found this video helpful. If you have any comments or you want to start a chat below, I really encourage you to do so. If you have specific questions, I'll tell you everything that I can. Um, I really think that you can get started using this machine right away. I don't think you need to buy a class for $2,000. I don't think you need specialized training. Um, I think if you sit down and play with this thing for a couple hours, play with the settings, play with different materials, you will be confident enough to start welding on clients within a couple days. I did it. I'm not, I'm medium crafty. I would say I'm not a genius and uh, yeah. So good luck and happy welding.